Hi everyone, welcome to Short Circuits with Marsha. Today's workout is the third installment of a four part Tabata series. So you can do this workout on its own, or you can accept the challenge and tack Tabata 2 and Tabata 1 on after you finish this one. So make sure you're warmed up and let's get started. Okay guys, so you've got two options for the movement for Tabata 3. The first option, which is the easier option, is you're gonna give me a big step forward, you're gonna come down, walk your feet out into plank. You can give me a little push-up from your knees or a half push-up from your toes. Then you're gonna walk your feet in and you're gonna shuffle back. So you wanna do that as quickly as you can and you wanna try to alternate the lead leg at your step forward with, okay? So you're gonna be alternating. A little more high intensity, plyometric. We're gonna do a nice big jump forward. You're gonna land in a deep squat. You're gonna come out into a full burpee. You're gonna come in and you're gonna give two little jumps back, okay? So you pick the level that you're comfortable with. Remember, you always wanna give it 100% no matter where you are. I'm starting my timer. 10 seconds, and we're gonna do that for 20 seconds, eight times, all right? Here we go. The first one's always gonna go a little slower. That's okay until your body gets used to the movement. So it's not a bad idea to keep track of your reps in your head. You want to try to keep at least those same amount of reps. Try. And remember, it's the battle. So it seems like I'm averaging about three. See if you can beat that. You probably can. about three and a half. Looks like we have two more. And last one, guys. Remember on this last one, we all want to always give it everything we've got. 
Here we go. Nicely done. So guys, I'm still breathing heavy, you should be too. You wanna have some water and then go to Tabata two, go to Tabata one, or if you've had enough, just finish here. Make sure you get some stretching in. And uh, I've got one more video in this series. It's Tabata four, it's gonna be a nice little combo. There'll be a little bit more emphasis on core, so make sure you check it out. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and until next time, take care of you, and I'll see you in my gym. Okay guys, so for this Tabata 2, we've got two options for the move. We've got a low impact option that looks like this. You're gonna do two reverse lunges and a squat, and then you're gonna reverse that. So you'll be starting with whichever leg came in last. I guess it doesn't really matter as long as you keep moving for the 20 seconds. Higher impact version or plyometric version is gonna look like this. We're gonna do two lunge jumps and turn to the side with a squat, two lunge jumps, squat. That is the version that I'm gonna be doing. You can pick whichever one you want. I'm starting my countdown. It's a 10 second countdown. We've got eight rounds of the same exercise, the same movement, and we're giving it 100% here, guys. So get ready, and let's do this. Here we go. I don't mind what you do with your arms. It's all good. If you feel like you can touch the floor on that squat, Beautiful. Resting for 10 seconds. And then we've got seven more to go. You're gonna like that rest. Here we go again. And don't overthink it, it doesn't really matter which leg is in front on those lunge jumps to start out with. getting tired because I am. Try not to pause this one. Try to keep pushing through. We're almost there.
That's Tabata two finished. All right, so our rule for Tabata one is gonna be a squat and then a side kick. So we're gonna do four to one side and then four to the other side and that will be our eight rounds. I'm starting my timer, it's a 10 second countdown. And I'm gonna start by stepping to the left and kicking with my right. Here we go, squat, kick, squat, kick. And if you want, you can add a little hop in there if you're ready. Remember we wanna give 100% here. It's a short interval, it's only 20 seconds. And we rest for 10. So you pick your level. If you're not comfortable with the hop, that's okay. Sometimes I find it helpful to count in my head the reps I do and then I try to match or beat those reps. We got two more on this side. And it doesn't really matter how high you kick as long as you're giving it your all. One more. This is a beautiful little workout. Hardly need any space. No equipment. This is not a drill. And that was our four on the right side. Well, we're kicking right anyway. All right, now we're gonna step right, kick left. Gonna feel a little awkward at first, so I'm gonna just get my body used to it. And then I'm gonna add that little hop in. Heart rate should be really jacked up here, guys. Almost there. One more, last one. Come on guys, really push yourselves. Very nice. That's Tabata one.